Super Meat Boy Rival Rush is a two-player competitive card game. Players build decks and face off as characters from the Super Meat Boy cinematic universe racing to the end of a level. Included with the base set of Rival Rush is every card needed for two players to build any deck. The goal is to be the first player to complete a level made of eight segments. To complete a segment, characters use moves indicated on the segment's objectives. The four moves are Jump, Punch, Dive, and Slide. The Advance 1 objective indicates the moves required for a character to go forward one segment. The Advance 2 objective indicates the moves required for a character to go forward two segments. Two moves, separated by a slash, indicates that either move may be used. The Any symbol indicates that any one of the four moves may be used. The Advance 1 symbol in the Advance 2 objective indicates that the Advance 1 objective must be completed to then complete the Advance 2 objective. Players gain moves by using action cards. Basic action cards produce a single move. There is a basic action card for each type of move. Jump, punch, dive, and slide. Fancy actions are more powerful than basic actions, and some can produce more than a single move. The most powerful fancy actions have requirements that must be met in order to use them. Players can gain an edge by using skill cards. Skills can draw additional cards, retrieve cards from the garbage, double up on a move, and a lot more. Players can really f up their rival by using disrupt cards. Disrupts can flip segments over, rearrange the level, discard cards from a player's hand, and much more. Players can also use their character's ability and instinct to reach their full strategic potential. A character's instinct can be used once per turn. A character's ability is triggered when certain conditions are met. To get started, each player selects a character, builds a 20-card deck, and chooses four unique level segments. The four unique level segments must have a total challenge of eight or less. The 20 card deck must be comprised of 8 basic actions, 4 unique fancy actions, 4 unique skills, and 4 unique disrupts. Basic actions can be a mix of any of the 4 types, but 2 of each type is a good place to start. There's a lot of cards to choose from, so check out the 2 example decks in the instructions. To create the level, each player combines their 4 segments into a single pile of 8 segments. Shuffle the segments and place them in a row. Segments are double sided. Flip the 2nd, 4th, 6th, and 8th segment face down. Each segment's facing direction is indicated by the red saw icon. Each player places their character at the first segment. Randomly determine the term player. Flip a coin, roll dice, or see who can eat a double-double animal style the fastest. The term player will place their cards first, and use their card effects first. Each player then shuffles their deck, and draws three cards. The game is played in a series of turns until there is a winner. Turns are played in five phases. Update, draw, ready, rush, and end. Update phase! The update phase is the start of each turn. If the lead changed, the lead player becomes turn player. Also, if a player's deck has no cards remaining, that player shuffles the cards from their garbage into a new deck. Draw phase. Both players draw two cards from their deck. Ready, Ready phase. phase. The turn player goes first. They may place cards face down onto any segment except behind their character. They may also use their character's instinct. An instinct can only be used once per turn. The other player may then place their cards in the same way and also use their character's instinct. The turn player may then place one additional card face down onto any segment except behind their character. Rush phase! Start with the backmost segment. Flip up all face down cards at this segment. If two or more disrupts occupy this segment, all disrupts at this segment have no effect. Otherwise, use the disrupt. Starting with the turn player, each player uses their skills. Skills may be used in any order their controlling player chooses. Starting with the turn player, each player uses their actions to gain moves for this segment. Actions may be used in any order their controlling player chooses. Moves may only be used at the segment where they were gained. Starting with the turn player, each player may use their moves to complete the objectives on this segment. A move can only be used once. A character must occupy this segment in order to complete its objectives. If the Advance 1 objective is completed, the character moves forward one segment. If the Advance 2 objective is completed, the character moves forward two segments instead. Repeat this process for each segment moving forward. Afterwards, the player with the character farthest past the last segment is the winner. If there's no winner yet, then play continues with the end phase. Any unused moves vanish at the end of the rush phase. End phase. Discard all face-up cards to their owner's garbage. Discard all segments behind both characters until three segments remain. Each player discards cards from their hand until they have five cards remaining. Start the next turn with the update phase. That's it! Visit RivalRush.com for a closer look at the rules, how to get your copy of the game, and how to yell at us on Twitter and Discord for being wrong about something. Additional, Additional details. details! During the rush phase, if both players advance past the end of the level by the same amount, It's a draw. 
In this case, create a new level by shuffling together the original 8 segments and place 3 in a row face up. Flip the second segment face down. Place the characters at the start of the new level and continue play. It is now Final, final rush. rush! In the event of another draw, repeat this process and enter Final Final, final, final Rush! And then Final Final Final, 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 final Rush! Then Final 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 Rush! Then Final 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 Final, final, final. Two moves separated by a slash on a fancy action card is a flex move. When a player gains a flex move, they choose one of the two moves to gain. If two or more face-up disrupts occupy the same segment, they all have no effect. This includes when a player places two or more of their own disrupts at a segment. A disrupt having no effect means to ignore all of the text on the card. Cards used at segments remain face-up and in play until the end of the turn. This is important for certain card effects that interact with face-up cards. To speed things up during the ready phase, when a player uses their character's instinct, their rival can use their character's instinct as well. This does not circumvent the once per turn rule for instincts. If a player uses their instinct at any point during the turn, they cannot use it again. Players only shuffle their garbage into their deck if they have no cards remaining during the update phase. If they run out of cards during the turn, they are stuck without cards to draw until the next update phase. If a card effect requires a player to first discard a card, and they have no cards to discard, then they cannot use that effect. Players must use the full effect indicated on a card before using the effect of another. <laughs> Players must use every card placed at a segment. Both sides of segment cards are public knowledge. And players may look at the other side of a segment card at any time. Discarded cards are placed into their owner's garbage. Deleted cards are placed into their owner's void. <laughs> the cards in each player's garbage and void are public knowledge and should be kept face up. The number of cards in a player's hand, the number of cards that a player has placed face down, and the number of cards remaining in a player's deck are public knowledge. Sometimes, tricky situations emerge, and the exact timing of when a card effect happens will have a big impact on the game. The comprehensive rules on RivalRush.com should clarify every step of the turn, and hopefully resolve any ambiguous situations. <laughs> Finally, this is a card game, meaning that you and your pals can really play however you want. If you want to play with bigger decks, <laughs> multiple copies of a card, longer levels, shorter levels, multiple characters at once, or every card in the game in one deck, go for it. You own the cards, you can do whatever you want with them. This video only provides the official and recommended Rival Rush rules that will be used in any official play. Remember, you exist in a boundless reality where anything is possible. Anything you dream is real, limited only by the power of your imagination. The universe exists as an infinitely mutable organism forever changed with the sheer entropy of experiencing itself. Casting towards the Thanks for playing! Sometimes tricky situations emerge. <clears throat> Jesus. Fuck.